finally, this package is here. It's a few days overdue, in my opinion, but um, it was just delivered to me, forwarded from RIT, because I accidentally sent it to the wrong place. But in here, there is a very, very important thing, and I think that's yep, in here. And that very, very important thing is a brand new processor. Um, can't do this with one hand. This is the processor that I bought that new motherboard with, um, and finally I'll be able to use it, except it's very, very nicely wrapped, which is good, unlike the motherboard. The motherboard was very poorly wrapped, in my opinion, because that caused... Uh, because some pins bent in, in travel, and there was no protective CPU I.O. shield, so there was... it was just not a good shipping experience. It might be broken. I'm still not sure if the motherboard's broken. Um, I'm finally going to be able to test it out in a little while. Unfortunately, I can't do it right now because I'm currently waiting for all of these file transfers to finish. Also, I'm going through uh, some Kineticon pictures, as you can see right there. But um, I'm currently doing the backups for all of my computers right now, or for my computers right now. I destroyed one of my RAID volumes and just separated them, separated them as two separate disks, and I'm just copying a bunch of data to them. So, yeah, it's taking a long time to back up all my music, all of my anime and videos, and all of the rest of the stuff. But, until then, here we go. Here is that wonderful, wonderful processor that I wanted. It's a, 50, it's a Xeon X5650, if any of you guys are, for some reason, wondering. Um, it's a 6-core Intel processor, and, well, it's gonna be a very nice step up from what I currently have. And it was a very, very, very cheap upgrade. Um, in total, it cost me... Wow, this thing is heavy. In total, it cost me $120 to do this upgrade, and I should be getting about a $50, a $50, a 50 performance. No, a 50% performance increase. So, I am very happy, and I can't wait to install this, unfortunately. Like I said, I can't do that till all this is done, but I can start to do some of the work on the motherboard, which is over there. So, I think I'm going to do that. So, be back in a bit. So the processor is installed, and I also installed an extra 4 gigabytes of RAM that I've had lying around for the longest of times. Um, over there, you can see the box. Uh, it's not really a lot of RAM, I mean, it's only an extra 4 gigs, but it's lying around, so why not use it? That's my mentality. Um, my voice is still also, like, really dead right now, if you can probably, you can probably tell. Um, I'm hoping that it'll get better within the couple of the next coming days, but it's fine for now, but... Yeah, processor installed and memory is installed. Now I just gotta wait for this to finish and then I can finally finish up the rest of these darn transfers. So, I'll see you guys in a bit.
Okay guys, it's time for the moment of truth. This took about four or five hours to clean up completely and rebuild. Well, to deconstruct, rebuild, clean, bleh. Deconstruct, clean, rebuild. Took about five hours total. I started around 2.30 and it's about 8.30. So, no, no, that's about six hours. Wow, how time flies. But it's time for the first power on. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but here's to hoping. It's so much quieter. Actually, it's about the same volume, but so far so good. There's a red light blinking, or there's a red light in there. Um, it usually means it's just checking the RAM, but we gonna get a boot. Um, I might have the memory installed incorrectly. We'll see about that in just a couple of moments. Come on. Come on. Wow, actually the computer is a fair bit quieter even though I have three more fans installed than what used to be installed. That's that's really nice. Now let's hope that it just turns on. No, red light. That's not good. Oh no, that's the power button. Maybe we just don't have an active video signal coming out. Hmm. I'll mess around with this for a bit. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, I forgot to plug in the PCI Express power. So I'm hoping that was the problem. Let's see if it is. Um, if it's not, I have a bio speaker for this. So I'll be able to uh, listen to the bio speech to see what's wrong. But so far, eep. I have a green light right here, which means at least it's trying to read from all the disks. But I didn't plug in a monitor. <laughs> oh wait, yes I did. Well. Joy. Also, I really hope that fan in there isn't broken. That's one of the new fans. That would be really annoying if that fan came in dead. Well, I spent a few hours uh, trying to figure out what was wrong with this, and in the end I've come to the conclusion that it's dead. The motherboard is dead. Um, or at least I assume the motherboard is dead because processors usually don't come in dead, but that motherboard came in pretty awful condition and the box is still over there. Um, it's kind of unfortunate because I spent a lot of time today just trying to make it work, and in the end, after all the tricks I tried, nothing worked. So. It's unfortunate, but it's technically tomorrow. It's almost 1 a.m. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to sleep t right now, soon. So, short of vlog today, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. So until then, farewell.